Welcome to this Border Zero demo. Today we're going to be looking at the Border Zero connector. Let's start by installing it. I'll follow the online instructions, type in sudo border zero connector install, which will install it as a systemd unit and we'll make sure that the service will be running as a service. Next up, let's see if we can find a new connector in the border zero portal. From here on out, we can manage everything remotely. And also, we've created a Bastion host. By default, the SSH server is installed and we can manage and access it using the web client and our SSO credentials. Next up, we'll use this new connector to make an internal web application that's running on a private IP address available through Body Zero. From the connector menu, I'll create new socket, I'll select HTTP, provide the upstream information, the private IP address and optionally an SNI header, and now we're good to go. I'll wait for it to refresh, log in with my SSO credentials, and voila, we're now in our internal web app. Next up, let's take a look at plugins. For this demo, we'll take a look at the Network Scanner plugin to detect internal services running here. Notice how fast and real-time all these things are. I enable the plugin, find the discovered resources a few seconds later, and we can now easily turn them into services. Next up, we'll turn the discovered private MySQL server into a Border Zero database socket. Again, notice how fast things are from detection to creation to access with my SSO credentials to the database. First off, we'll give it a name. I'll just name it MySQL. Everything else is already pre-populated and the only thing I need to do is provide the upstream credentials. So I'll provide those here, hit submit, and you'll see the form refresh as soon as the socket is live at that point, I'll have access to this database using just my single sign-on credentials. To wrap up this demo, today we saw how easy it is to install the Border Zero connector, how we immediately got an SSO-enabled SSH Bastion host. We then made an internal web application available through the Border Zero connector. Finally, we enabled one of the discovery plugins that discovered all of the internal network services, and we turned one of these services into a Border Zero-enabled database socket. And that really is easy, frictionless, secure infrastructure access. Finally, check out borderzero.com for more details and start your free trial today.